Aloha, we are live at the University of Hawaii Manoa, um, where there's go there's a ad hoc demonstration uh, in support of the people on the Mauna and to protest the use of violence against the Kupuna. First line of people who were um, arrested this morning on Mauna Kea. got uh, speakers, uh, PA system set up, so there's going to be some uh, talking. Uh, there are a bunch of people here, so I'm here to present the uh, live stream, the, uh, the action. And if you are on the Mauna itself, we send... Uh, Our love and respect. Starting to rain, perfect timing. So uh, as you can see a lot of people here from the university uh, community, teachers and students. This kind of this shirt kind of explains what the deal is. I'm wearing a shirt from the 2016 La Ho'i Ho'i. Uh, it was to honor, that honored uh, Haunani K. Trask, who was, uh, went through uh, great efforts to establish uh, Hawaiian studies here at the University of Hawaii. Here's uh, Noe Noe Silva, who uh, unearthed a lot of uh, scholarship of uh, people at the time who opposed uh, the annexation and whatnot. Um, never had uh, come to light before, even though the documents were properly archived. And you know why? Because the documents were in Hawaiian and the people doing this studying couldn't read Hawaiian. They could only read English. Maybe I'll walk around a little bit, then we'll be heading toward the Ahu. This is Bachman Hall, the um, administrative uh, offices of the University of Hawaii. I was here in 1971 or 72. There was an occupation of Bachman Hall that helped establish. Uh, the Ethnic Studies Center. Okay, we're going toward the Apu now, so. There is Ethnic Studies here at the UH. Before there was a Hawaiian Studies Department. <clears throat> the university administration at the time felt there shouldn't be a Hawaiian Studies Department. No other university had a Hawaiian Studies Department. No mainland universities had Hawaiian studies in Portland. Sounds crazy now. And I, I'm glad it sounds crazy now. It was crazy then. There was a lot of vilification of uh, Haunani K. Trask for insisting on such. We are at the Ahu. Uh, slogan is a Hawaiian place of learning which explains this sign that it's actually a Haole place of earning with Haole used in the actual literal sense of foreign Kukiai Mauna protect the mountain
protect a sacred area, a pristine area. We're here today to make it known to David Lassner how disgusted we are with his actions and how we condemn them. Hawaii Studies has sent out a statement. It is a very pointed statement asking for his resignation. Having said that, and making these very pointed, uh, making this statement, I want us all to understand that we are here to observe Kapu Aloha. Anybody who operates outside of Kapu Aloha, myself included, will be asking me. So, we asked to meet David last year at 10 o'clock. He said yes, and they said, oh, I got something else to do, meet you at 11. So, <clears throat> what's going to happen is, I'm going to go up to the stairs, I'm going to read my statement to him. We have a few other faculty who will make some points to him. And we're going to part company at that stage of the game, okay? We are not here. We are here for the long haul. Being here is not the end of it. Alright? <clears throat> I ask that you keep thoughts, positive thoughts, prayers, for the Kia'ia and the Mauna, and for Mauna Kea itself. That Mauna needs to continue to function in the way that it has for thousands of years. Not only under with a sense of spirituality, but there is just a basic ecological function that must continue. And that must continue so that we can continue into the future. That is what will keep us resilient against climate crisis. These things seem to have escaped. Leadership. Again, we are not against science. We are against desecration of a sacred place. Our gods reside there. They show themselves to us through ecological function. That must continue. So we can. Uh, David last year comes, we'll call you folks up. Does that sound okay? Right. You folks can, uh, it's really nice to do my thing to visit us. Um, but we'll call you up, okay? Just holding pattern for now until uh, President last year comes. How's that sound? Hi. Thank you. If you're uh, unfamiliar with the uh, Bachman Hall or UH uh, Manoa area, let's go take a walk um, up toward. I was saying, let's take a look around so you can uh, orient yourselves. This is right outside the uh, front of the administrative offices of University of Hawaii Manoa. Bachman Hall, I was saying that it had been occupied before for the ethnic studies uh, to help establish ethnic studies program, 1970. There were a couple of, a couple of them early 70s, 71 and 72. I was here then, and it's a lot different now. It doesn't look different, <laughs> but uh, back then you could actually get in the place, and 
occupy it. There's also another recent, more recent occupation f against uh, to protest UART, University Research and UARC. What did that stand for? But it was to develop uh, weapons for the military. So there was a occupation here. But uh, at that time you couldn't get in anymore. So <clears throat> there was a occupation outside on the grounds. Morning. And if you look at some of the historic photos of the ethnic studies program, you will see uh, the inside. There's a nice mural, upper and lower floors, but uh, we'll see what the deal is here. Well, it looks like we can get in. Maybe we can get in. Let's try and see if we can actually get into Bachman Hall. Yep, this is the place. So we were occupying the area back in the early 70s. Upper floors, lower floors, the offices. Here's a mural. You know, there are Hawaiians on the murals here. It's the, they don't mind decorative Hawaiians, but real Hawaiians, nah, too much trouble, right? Now there is uh, Some, actually a long history of the uh, land in question, Mauna Kea. It actually goes back, well, I mean, it goes back forever, but it's part of the lands that were um, Divided 1847, 1848, the Mahele. Some support from people passing by, just like we saw at uh, the Capitol, when was that? Yesterday? Monday. So uh, you can't actually make it to this event, which will start probably in uh, 20 minutes. We're wa awaiting. Uh, the arrival of the president of UH, David Lassner. Um, yeah, so if you can't come down, drive by and honk the horn. <laughs> we understand what you're saying. You're supporting the uh, Kiai on the Mauna. You're protesting the uh, use of violence against the Kupuna. Who were arrested this morning. That's why we're here. I'll do a little walk around again. So yeah, when the land was divided, a portion of it went to the uh, crown. These are crown lands. And during the overthrow, and the overthrow was, uh, you know, people think it was the U.S. It wasn't. It was a bunch of descendants of uh, missionaries, most of them who were, became land barons, sugar barons. And they decided, well, they weren't making enough money. There we go. We got a corner demo. Let's go take a look at that. And with the help of an American gunship, they attacked the palace, Liliuo Kalani, in order to prevent bloodshed seeded authority not to them but to the U.S. until the nation of Hawaii could be returned. Almost did. President Cleveland was almost able to do that but he, uh, his term ended, he termed out. 
position was taken over by uh let's try and get under there we go aloha aina <laughs> see the corner demo here This, the current slogan is see you on the Mauna. We're ready. Everybody's ready. We're gonna try and uh, some nice, uh, really nice. <laughs> you know. My left is um, University Avenue, goes up into Manoa. In front of me is uh, Dole Street. That I think people want to rename. This is just the contingent here on the corner. Thanks for the sign. Aloha. with uh, more people up on the grounds, ready to greet uh, the president of U the University of Hawaii system, David Lasner. That's the kind of horn you need if you're gonna honk. You need an air horn. Works up compressed air. flags here, some of the familiar ones with the Union Jack in the corner. Canton, said they call that part of the flag. Some of them flying on upside down. You'll also see uh, another flag. Yellow, green, red. And uh, 
also maintain that was the uh, flag. But uh, both demos you go, I mean, every demo you go, you see both. So. So people are trying to stand in the shade a little bit. So really haven't charged anyone. So like the, they made arrests, but they released everyone, so no one was charged. And no site. Yeah, they released all the food uh, like an hour ago. Oh, good. Um, so it seems like they're just harassing them. Uh, but as far as I know, and I've just been checking the light, there's no citations that are written and no actual charges for those parts. Okay, we just heard this. I I, it seems credible, but you can double check it. That the uh, Kupuna who were um, arrested were taken away, but not charged and were released. Uh, so we'll see. You know, it's just kind of a harassment sort of a situation. So we'll see if you can uh, confirm that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you know, I'm live streaming. People tend to stop and not walk in front of me or duck. You don't have to do that. I'm a live streamer. I deal with reality. You got to go somewhere. Walk in front of me. No problem. No problem at all. Now, if you walk in front of me and you stand in front of my camera. Well, you know what? I got... Uh, it's a monopod. So what I do is I uh, hike the monopod up. Um, to see above you so that's okay too if you got a good spot to stand and it's in front of me fine no problem and I'm here not just to document but to participate in this demonstration as I was saying earlier I'm wearing an old La Hoi Hoi Ea shirt the one that honored uh, Honani K. Trask, who's a professor here, it has kind of a University of Hawaii theme, who uh, fought tooth and nail to help uh, establish the um, Department of Hawaiian Studies. The university didn't think we needed because, you know, none of the mainland universities had departments of Hawaiian Studies. What the heck? <clears throat> There was, uh, there were Hawaiian scholars here, though, before that. Um, I'm thinking Abe uh, P.E. Anaya. I think he was the Department of Geography. But uh, he was the uh, Hawaiian history guy. I'm not checking my notes here. I know people are, <coughs> I know people are watching and commenting. I generally do don't look at the comments because uh, I gotta I want to concentrate on what's in front of me so if you're leaving a comment I'm not uh, ignoring you and if you're on the Mauna we all send our aloha our love and respect and want you to know we're here, we're here for you, and we realize it'll be a long struggle, struggle, so we're not just here for an afternoon or for an hour or for a demo, but we know what's involved and we support you. And I notice, if you notice, if you know people, you look around, they're people of very many different um, political factions this isn't a rally this isn't a movement 
of one group of people. It's really grassroots, which means that it has the support of a lot of people, not just uh, politician. In fact, you know what? There was a demo at uh, the Capitol on Monday had hundreds of people turn out, hundreds of people. No politicians <laughs> at the Capitol. But uh, regular people, people from all the neighborhoods, outer islands, whatever, they came in. And here at this demo, you know, it was called mostly uh, faculty and students it's a uh, it's a work day it's a school day luckily you know i had the day off i was supposed to do stuff like pay my electricity let like it <laughs> but you know reality intruded you know what can you say we're at the ahu we're standing outside the ahu momentarily we'll be going up uh, behind me, which is Bachman Hall, the administrative uh, offices of the University of Hawaii. UARC, I'm still trying to figure that. I think it was the University Advanced Research Center. And by advanced, there we go. That's the kind of horn you need, trucks. that was to develop secret weapons um, for the military. And I think, I think they did manage to establish that. I'm thinking there's got to be a war machine component to the 30-meter 30, 30 telescope ob observatory, which is why there's so much governmental pressure to establish it. Why why arrest Kupuna? Why go against the will of so many people when uh, it hardly seems worth it? Even f just for corporate profit, you know? This will be the... This is... will propose to be the 13th observatory on the summit of Mauna Kea, which is a conservation area. In the 1960s, the state of Hawaii discovered that they had control of this, this uh, property that actually had commercial value, and the commercial value was to the observatory industrial complex the people that build and build construct and use uh, astronomical observatories so there are 12 of them on the mauna right now it's a conservation area there was a, supposed to be a plan to dismantle and clean up after the uh, observatories aged out none of that has happened and it is on not only conservation lands, it's on crown lands, it's on ceded lands um, that have been also declared as conservation areas. These are Hawaiian land. I mean, it, it's all Hawaiian lands. Okay, everything you see, we could do like a 360 panorama which I'll do now here's the University of Hawaii and University of Hawaii is a land grant school so keep that in mind but everything you know out a few hundred miles <laughs> from directly in front of you it's all Hawaiian lands but the seeded lands were crown lands and then uh, during the uh transfer of government from the provisional government who won annexation for um, the U.S. And 
1897 and people can correct me um, the provisional government ceded it to the US the US said well we can't take something for nothing it's again violates uh, some basic principle and uh, put it as a public trust until it could be ter- determined what was to be done with it. So the actual ceded lands are still relatively intact in terms of being in a group. Uh, the, um, the properties that were set aside for the people were, were stolen um, because you were supposed to register the land, um, pay taxes on it, have meets and bounds kind of surveys done. And this is a completely foreign thing to everybody who did not read the Pacific Advertiser, the, the um, ancestor to the Honolulu Advertiser, now the Star Advertiser, whose founding uh, publisher was Lauren Thurston, who was one of the people involved to actually run to um, fuel the overthrow. So they ended up with the people's land, um, which is not intact. It's in a bunch of private holdings. It's so hard to trace uh, trace that. Ceded lands are being administered by the Department of Land and Natural Resources. Currently, the he- headed by Suzanne Case. It was the sister of a representative Ed Case. Oh. Hey, Kai, how's it? <laughs> Kai Markel, right behind Aloha, me. Bro. Aloha, Good to see you. Good to see you. This is the Aloha. photographer. He never gets his picture taken. This is the man. I don't want to break your neck. <laughs> He's on Facebook, Kai Markel. He, he, look at his photographs. They're more than just photographs, more than documentation, but expressions of, he gets a feeling of what's in the picture. How do you do that? <laughs> no, no, Silva. Uh, professor here, author of Aloha Betrayed. Uh, what's the new one? Steel, the steel pen, something. Somebody post it read those read her books and learn something okay we're about to go up stop the raining and rain very traditionally thought of as a blessing so everybody feels good about that very few minutes it's almost 11 now so I'm going to move my POV. I'm going up toward the uh, toward the offices. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to kind of pan around a lot to give you an idea of the location, the context. I think the context of these demonstrations is really important. If you watch the uh, KHON news of the uh, rally at the Capitol, you got to see about two minutes of people as they were packing up. If you watch my live stream, you could see the hundreds of people who were there. You could have seen your relatives, your friends, your neighbors up there. Okay, people are being called up, so I'm gonna... In front of the administrative offices, we've got uh, public address system set up, ready to go. Have uh, people blowing the poo? We got 
some kind of security. I don't, it doesn't look like HPD. Might be UH, uh, I don't know if it's like rent. I don't know what kind of law enforcement authority they have. Here we go. People are moving up here. See these uh, Kuki Ai Mauna shirts. These were classics. They were uh, first came out, I believe, during the rally at uh, Iolani Palace a few years ago. Okay, people are coming up. People are coming up. I'm gonna get up here a little bit. live University of Hawaii Manoa in front of Bachman Hall the administrative offices of the University of Hawaii where people are gathered as a group to address uh, President David Lasner demanding that he resign because of his use of violence against the Kupuna the elders up on the mountain who were arrested earlier this morning a very ad hoc demo he called immediately it's uh, 11 a.m. on a school day on a work day I had the day off so I was able to come if you're on the Mauna we send our aloha we send our love and we send our respect our solidarity You guys are inspiring. And again, this isn't this is a university crowd. It's not anti-science as it's always put in the talking points. I it might be anti-colonial science. <laughs> Science can be Pono and it's expanding our horizons. It can be the opposite when it's designing weapons, when it's used to, as an excuse to dispossess people of land and power, autonomy, governance. Big drums here. I think we're supposed to be behind the speakers. Uh, I'm not too sure what the deal is.
this is uh, David Lasner himself. Kumuhina.
greatest. I currently serve as the director of Kamakapu Kalani Center for Hawaiian Studies. This morning uh, was a shameful display of power for any university, by any standard of culture, to believe that what you are doing requires that you arrest kupuna is an embarrassment. It's beyond an embarrassment. It's an abuse of power. Kamakakuo Kaleni issued this statement, and I'd like to read it. I will read it in its entirety. After that, we have three or four other speakers who would like to make their statements as well. Aloha is a beautiful thing, it's a hard thing, but we are still under couple Aloha. President Lassner, Kamakakuo Kaleni faculty at the University of Hawaii at Manoa condemns your actions that precipitated the overt attack on Hawaiian culture, lands, and people here and on Monokia. Kamakakuo Kaleni calls for your immediate resignation, President Lassner, of the University of Hawaii system. Open letters by faculty at the UH system have outlined your reckless disregard for your responsibilities and your weaponizing of Hawaiian concepts and identity to mask your support of the governor and the Boylan County Mayor's threat to deploy unreasonable and extreme force against faculty, students, staff, and community members attempting to exercise the right to protect Mauna Kea from the TMT desecration. Your record of abuse through the misappropriation of Hawaiian national and cultural identity shows a clear pattern of erasure, whereby all legitimate concerns from the Hawaiian protected communities are ignored or wrongfully characterized as insane and criminal. You would have been support the governor and the state agencies, both Chin and Connor, the Hawaiian police chief and the mayor's faulty logic to threaten violence against anyone protected of monarchy. You disregard the concerns of faculty and staff advocating for the protection of monarchy and use time limits and scheduling to stifle debate. You and your legal staff consistently patronize the little and disregard our efforts to improve the monarchy management rules to ensure that the constitutional rights of Native Hawaiians and the public are protected. As UH president, you are obligated to protect all of the community by maintaining a non-violent, safe, and culturally healthy system, including the management of sacred lands and top monarchy. Instead, you adopt leadership statements that demoralize the faculty, staff, and students of our school and the greater Hawaii community. You support the intervention of police from several counties, state law enforcement, private security, the National Guard, and do so in ways that will escalate violence and increase the likelihood of further damaging and desecrating all of them. Your actions over the past years are irresponsible and dangerous to our university and to our school in particular. Hawaii Nuiya Kia's dean and the faculty from several UH Manoa departments have repeatedly asked that you take effective measures to protect our faculty, staff, and students who are experiencing serious trauma by the placement of the police over the and threats of unnecessary police intervention. In response, you give no meaningful feedback simultaneously, giving your full support to AG Connor, AG Connor and Governor Ige's hypocritical statements that protests should be done, quote, in a place that does not put the mountain at risk. With regard to violence, you accept the state threat that no violence or aggressive police responses will occur as long as participants are behaving. Stylized statements of violence and erasure like these should have no place in our university community, but you have chosen to give them safe haven at our schools at the expense. You also encourage the university quote, leadership to espouse false concepts by claiming that the telescope developing is on behalf of the people of the world. Sadly, you fail to recognize that this arrogance and white settler privilege is a sickness that causes you and your leadership to believe that you actually have the authority to speak for the people of the world. What kind of sickness will a new person or institution believe that they have the authority and power to speak on behalf of the world? And yet, when indigenous people of this wide world tell you to stop, you dance, you dance, you get out of 
and see it down at New York University. This is shameful. The health of our university, our AINA, and our great community is at risk. The well-being of our educational institution, the one this is what it's supposed to foster, is to foster and is being. These obscene forms of institutional racism have nothing to do with keeping open dialogue between Jews and The university is generated because of a leadership that allows falsehoods and neoliberal concepts to silence reason, voices, and neoliberal cultural identity. To be clear, Mr. Lassner, your current leadership has failed our school and this university system. Kamaka Kuokalani is an active and valuable member of the university community. Our role is to educate, to liberate, and conscientize the Lahui. We are committed to improving the conditions of the elite community because by doing so, we lift up the needs of our larger Hawaii community. When the university permits its institutional racism, bigotry, and indifference for Hawaiian culture, land, and life, the community suffers. When the university appropriates the land language and cultural practices like the hula or denies the hula for implications such acts have on our communities, we suffer. Kamakikoa Kalani teaches tolerance, but does not tolerate the kinds of belligerent systemic acts of settler colonial racism employed by U.S. President. Kamakikoa Kalani's support for a healthy, critical development of Hawaiian cultural, social, and political identity leads us to condemn the presidency for fomenting an anti-Hawaiian, anti-Hawaiian, and anti-peaceful place of Hawaiian women. Our faculty, students, and community see your so-called leadership plan is a shameful display of arrogance and disdain with no capacity to learn and adapt beyond the structure, set the privilege, and abusive and abuse of institutional power. Finally, we end this story, we end with the story of Kamehameha and the proclamation of the Mamalahoi, commonly known as the Law of the Spiritual Power. The story speaks of Kamehameha at a time when he was overzealous for battle. He mistakenly attacks a non-combatant fisherman who takes advantage of Kamehameha's momentary lapse of judgment and smacks him over the head and smacks the elite over the head with his paddle. The paddle splinters and provides the great chief a moment of clarity, whereby he says, no innocent man, woman, or child traveling in the island should ever experience abuse or be harmed. This is a metaphor. This story is a metaphor that has lessons related to your leadership. Clearly, you are nowhere near the leadership capacity of any one chief that we have in that. Still, your form of magic, arrogance, and disrespect is very deserving of a metaphor for snap on the head. Kamakoko Kalani intends for this letter to be as good as your We hope you will learn something by this power. End your abusive behavior and bring peace to our university by resigning.
please do that. Do not use our words like Kapu Aloha. If you're not going to abide by them, thank us. Thank us for being passive. No. We're not going away. That's the last word. We're not going away. This is very serious. And we have failed to listen to your advisors and to all of us who have been speaking out on this issue for many years. So in your email, you also mentioned dialogue and being open to dialogue. Dialogue requires that both parties not only speak, but listen. We must no. listen if you want a dialogue for the moment. The moment you announce that construction will begin, you shut off dialogue, and that's why this is all happening. So I call on you to stop the threatening armed police and National Guard behavior and stop the construction.
changing it, it's no longer going to be a people anymore. I want to ask you, President Gazner, to please stop the telescopes, to stop TMT, get everybody off the mountain. It's not, it's not the beginning, it's just a, it's not the end, it's just the beginning. We are going to be there for a while. We are waiting for that point. So important to us. That's why our place is so secret. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your support. Hello.
have been interpreted in ways that were not intended. For that, I can apologize. It was a, a bit of a group message that was prepared for me, but I approved it. Therefore, I do. Um, I do. I am willing to engage. Obviously, this is a difficult time. Some of you have talked to me privately and personally. Others of you don't feel that something we did not do. Aloha me kako. Aloha, aloha, oku ule, when it's cool ule. And as Mr. Lazarus walks away, I'd like to say the mahalo for being here. 
I understand Maki Anohe Kanaka, a Ole Mako Mane, a Ole Kako, a Ole Yavale. We come with Kupuna before us, Kupuna before them, before them, before them. I understand that what doctor is, is it doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Because I think I doctors think so. have a lot to do with wellness and doctor. Okay, if President Lasner is walking away now, what he's saying by refusing to halt construction on the Mona is he, what he just said was that he would do everything, he's doing everything that he can to keep our people safe. I don't think he realize, realizes anything about Mauriola and what that means. So now the Kuleana is ours. Well, how much time? I just kind of stole this mic up here. But I really have a message for Kako, and it's Mauriola. We have the kuleana of keeping us safe now because he just refused. Yo. Yo. So it's our kuleana to keep yourself safe. You call Mahana in, in your own culture, in your own life, in your own vaihana no no, in your souls, in your minds, in your pule, you stay safe. And then you malama your ohana. And if you look around, whatever skin color, oyama ika ohana. Okay, can we say mauliola? Mauliola. Mauliola. Oh, yeah. The essence inside of us is safe. No makote kuleana, no kakote kuleana. We have the kuleana of Mara Maina Maui. Yeah. So in everything that we do, we are accountable to kupuna, we are accountable to each other, we are accountable to kapu aloha. So whatever we got to do, we're doing it in kapu aloha. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I just had one comment that I could not, I was just, we were just going to go into our thing, right? But my comment is, this is not about keeping us safe. We are safe. We are safe among our own people. It's about what's right. It's about what's porno. None of this is right and none of this is porno. It's never, ever, ever porno when they took our aina when they imprisoned our queen, when they took our people, when they imprisoned our people, when they made us choose, and some of us never had a choice. I was born in Hawaiian, okay? In the territory of Hawaii. Our kupuna chose not to sign that petition. They signed the Kuei petition. That's what they signed. They never agreed to be a part of the United States. And yet these laws, you know, I talked to uh, Suzanne Hayes this morning, and she says, you know, we went through the process, and we, the process is not meant for us indigenous people. They <laughs> never intended, we will never win this in their courts. We will never win this through their laws. We will never win this in their, in their situation. They have been, we have been placed in that. So we have to go outside of that, and I'm not calling for, you know, Anything that outside of legal, what is legal? I'm calling for what is right. That's all I'm saying is that this is not about being safe. I feel very safe among all of you. I know my people are here. I was on the mountain with John and Jamaica. And it was wonderful to be among our people and we know that they have, they have held their space there. They are keeping it for our, uh, all of us and we can all be there for them. But this is what we can do for them. And as we go, because many of us will go back and forth, do what we can because we have to bring them new energy. We have to give them our voice. We have to do what we can to help them. And we need to do that. And as they arrest our kupuna, new kupuna will come. And that is not, that is not a threat. It's a promise.
privacy in any way uncomfortable while we were there. And we very, very willingly made it to the arrest site on Monday and on Tuesday. It was hard to leave. And I must go back. And I'm here to tell you that the focus of attention now has to be on our Lakui and what we will do to protect that mountain. I'm urging you to, to go. I'm going to tell you that you must not be a burden to the protectors and be sure that you go with enough equipment and food and water to share. I'm going to tell you that you need to be, you need to absolutely heed the discipline of this movement, which is no violence, no alcohol, no pakamobo, a clear mind for the time that you're there. And you have to respect the law of the people, even if you can go in there to take you out of the house, the way they do this morning, the way we would have done yesterday and the day.
stand for. But that war is not going to be something that is necessarily physical, that requires people to be hurt. That war is a call to us to arm ourselves with the intelligence of our kupuna, the intelligence of our people. The Kapua law that has been spoken about will remain in effect for all of us to abide by. When we are done from here, I believe that the call went out for us to carry the whole whole. Did everybody get that memo? For those of you who didn't get that memo, ke olu olu. When we are done from here, example, a honey was offered to the president of this institution. Perhaps some of us wish that he would go the way of that, oh, what is his name? 
February 14, he passed away. Yeah? <laughs> we remember him so fondly. Yes, it is true. If I wish to go, just say it all and go. But let us not avail ourselves to the negative aspect of what we all know we could fall to. Let us rise up. Let us stand. Let us stand in the demeanor. Let us stand in the character. Let us stand just as those who stand upon the Mauna. And especially for the younger leadership that shows themselves forth. They come forward with incredible character. With great charisma. They come forward with clarity of mind and heart. They speak with an articulate tongue. The alacrity of which is astounding and just stunning. If I wasn't older than them, I would say, when I get older, I want to be like you. <laughs> Instead, I just have to say, oh, try to set a better example, because people are watching. In Akane, in Awahine, in a Mahu, I know there's Mahu out here. Because <laughs> I know we put the call out to them too. Everybody's here. Here's what we're going to do. Omokako, Ikokakoka. And I would be safe to say that we are going to run. One second, everybody. We just want to make sure that we're all going on the same route. Like I said, look at what a beautiful day today is. And our islands are so beautiful. And we all took the time to be here. So it's time that we enjoy the beauty of our islands. Let us take a look at what the beautiful roads of Oahu have to offer on this beautiful Sunday drive that we're going to take. Hi.
just all of them. Oh. 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 If you have Kuleana, we understand. Today is not going to be the only day. The Kahea will go out. So make sure that you know how to stay connected. We know that majority of us, we are connected to the, the, the networks of media. This is just fabulous. But when I said that, wasn't us who declared, but it was somebody else who said in no uncertain terms how they feel about our people. Even to the, the degree of adding insult to injury, where our kupuna are arrested and then turn away and walk away from us. So, with that said, please, we must be kind to others on the road. Do not, do not, do not. If you wish to honor the protectors of Hana Mountain. If you wish to honor our kupuna and our people, you will execute this with absolute humility and dignity. If not, I will say you are not welcome in the caravan to all of them. Is that absolutely clear? We make way for emergency vehicle, police, fire, Happiness. We may be the cause of people <coughs> swearing or doing things to say to express how they feel about us because well, we're enjoying our day out on the road. <laughs> we do not retaliate. We do not turn around and return that which they give to us. Is that absolutely clear? Yeah. If not, you are full head up and you will take yourself out of the character. Yes. Um, okay. Hannah? Okay, I'll turn the microphone over for a minute and I'll take the microphone back here. Aloha, Kukia Imauna. Kukia Imauna. I just came back last night from the Mauna and I want to encourage all of you to go up there. Go up there if you can. Take your vacation. Take Observer, you can be a witness to this heaven that's going on. But of course, always go up in Kapu Aloha. And I want to say, please, I want to encourage all of you. I just came back last night. Go up there if you can. Support our mama. We need the bodies. We need the support up there. So, um, mahalo. My name is Helen Sonora Pale um, with Kalahui Hawaii Political Action Committee. Um, it's, it's a wonderful experience to go up there to be with our people, to protect something that is so sacred. How can we, as students and faculty and staff, work in this university when they're doing this to us? They're like pulling out our hearts, our now. How can we do that? It's, it's hard to continue. So I want to just say, you know, we, I'm so glad to be here with all of you. Um, and I want to just say, you know, kukia imauna. Kukia imauna. Kukia imauna. No lele e kia nai na kleo mahalo anu i noho i no ke i ahu i ana noho i o kako. We will meet at Kamakakua Kaleni and uh, find your way there. Kai ko o kamoana kai landa ni Hawaii i na oe oe ahalulu ka o. Ah, 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 ah,
Alani ki e ki e kau mai luna awe ke aloha ole akamali ni kuha he o e kuha mai i mama ka kau a
We got some hell of hell to do. Hey, this has been live okay. from the rally. I thought the batteries were going to die at the end there. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, this will be um, play on demand. And then I'm going to download it, uh, upload it onto YouTube. Hey, so good. Hey, <laughs> we're good. Yes, and we're, this is a UH oriented because it has all that. Yes. <laughs>